Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward Friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and today on the podcast, we're wondering where has the coffee workforce gone? Thank you to our presenting sponsor, the Coffee Roasters Mastermind Group with our new coach, Ante Bikic. Ante is the 2020 Danish Roasters National Champion and he is our new coach for both of the Roasters Mastermind Groups. Head to mapperforward.org forward slash group coaching or the show notes for the link to where you can find out more information and know exactly what the syllabus is that Ante has in store for the next four months where we can deep dive into a bunch of really interesting subjects around coffee roasting. I'll be in all the sessions uh, as well if you have any business questions uh, in the time of the roasting sessions where we have open questions. So mapperforward.org forward slash group coaching if you would like to know more about being in a supportive environment of roasters. So where has the workforce gone in the coffee industry? You may have noticed that it is difficult to find staff all around the world uh, in our industry. And there's a bunch of reasons for that. What we're finding is that it is going to get increasingly more difficult, or we suspect so, with the acceleration of this Delta variant. What we're finding is that At times here in Australia, now that we're in a lockdown and and we're coming towards the end of that lockdown now, but definitely what we found is that small businesses in the coffee industry who have cafes are at around between 25 and 45% of where they were of sales before our most recent lockdown. Now, that's not something that's stable. It's not something where you can maintain your staff. And as a result of that, what we've had is that people are leaving our industry in droves. People have taken the past 18 months of this pandemic to reassess what they want to do with their lives. And the more lockdowns that we encounter as an industry, the more people are realizing that either they don't want to be on the front lines of this pandemic and serve customers coffee, they don't want to be around the uncertainty, uh, the industry has changed and it it's no longer what they want, any number of reasons. And people are in droves deciding, at least for the moment or the foreseeable future, they've decided that they'll be leaving our industry. So where are they going? Well, what we're finding and from a lot of the questions that I've been asking people, coffee professionals that I know, they are going back to the things that they had either studied and decided that that was going to be the career that they were going to do. Uh, So, you know, we have a lot of either artists in the industry or scientists. We have a lot of engineers. We have computer scientists, uh, you know, game, uh, I don't know what you call people who write games, but we have those people as well. Um, Anyway, we have lots of people from a lot of different sectors. And unfortunately, those people have decided that this is no longer an industry whose uncertainty they can rely on. And in a lot of people's minds, well, if I'm going to leave college and go and get an, a minimum wage job in something that I know I'm not going to enjoy, maybe I'm just going to keep with this coffee thing because maybe I could make a career out of it and it's paying me the same as what my other job was going to pay me anyway. And it would give me some autonomy because I don't have to take any work home. Unfortunately, uh, it hasn't played out the way that people wanted it to play out and it's just too hard and so people are going back to the careers that they had originally uh, planned on being a part of. The other place that people are going is into the corporate world. So what we're hearing a lot of is people are saying because the coffee industry is so unstable right now 
I want to go and work for someone or somewhere that may be adjacent to the coffee industry. So it may be an espresso machine manufacturing company or it may be uh, like an alternative milk company, something like that. So coffee industry adjacent and they are getting snapped up and taking jobs in those companies because uh, let's face it, the real winners from this pandemic, if there could be any, but the real winners have been anyone who could supply somebody in the home with equipment or alternative milks or whatever, brewing brewing machines, anything like that. uh, They're the real winners. And so what we're starting to see is an uptick in people going from working in small businesses into the corporate space. And the third place that we're starting to see people Uh, tell us that they've gone into is sitting at home and uh, working on business ideas uh, and collecting unemployment checks while they come together with uh, business ideas. So they're either uh, creating blogs or podcasts or writing books or whatever it is and the government's paying them essentially to do that uh, or trading shares. There are a couple of people who'd mentioned that their new job is the stock market (laughs) and they're going to make a business out of that. So there's a lot of places that our workforce has gone to. I don't know if we're ever going to get them back. I don't know if what we need to do is look to the next generation of uh, people entering the workforce. What I can tell you is that I definitely believe that our industry is in a transformative period. And that what it will look like moving forward, everything will be different. Um, And it will continue to be different as we see where this pandemic is taking us. This Delta variant is rather concerning. uh, Mostly because I didn't think that it would affect Australian businesses as much as it has affected Australian Australian businesses in the coffee industry, nor did I think it would kind of rock business owners to the core the way that it has. And it hasn't done that for everybody, but it definitely has done that for some people. So let's see how this plays out. If you haven't considered pivoting yet, this is absolutely the time to pivot because I'm not sure that you're going to have your... Uh, the plethora of pickings that you used to have from your staff uh, or from the workforce that that was available to people before. Either way, I hope that everyone is okay and that everyone's just trying to figure out how to live a professional life that makes them happy. If you enjoyed this content, please consider clicking on that like button and showing us some love by rating and reviewing and subscribing wherever you are. Peace on peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.